Hello and welcome to the channel. Charles Soputo, popularly called Charlie Boy, has caught some flags for calling President Bola Hakme Tinubu's government a criminal enterprise. He quickly made a U-turn on the tweet after several criticisms from Nigerians. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Charlie Boy makes U-turn a deep tweet describing Tinubu's government as criminal enterprise. Popular Nigerian activist and singer Charles Oputa, also known as Charlie Boy, has made a U-turn by taking a fresh action over his tweets where he addressed President Bola Tinubu's government as a criminal enterprise. Nigerian news gathered that the singer came under heavy criticism yesterday as social media users knocked him for addressing the current administration as a criminal enterprise. He had described the Tinubu administration as such when he was commenting about conflicts and unrest in France. In his tweets, he charged Nigerian youths to reject the same oppressive system and criminal enterprise under President Bola Tinubu. Charlie Boy later deleted the tweet but was forced to re-edit and repose the same after removing criminal enterprise due to backlash from some Nigerians who called him a hypocrite. The re-edited tweet read, This isn't Syria, Iraq or Afghanistan. This is France where 9% of the population has brought down entire cities. Come out from Africa. I'm waiting on the exceptional Nigerian youths to reject a system that let them down. Una destiny de una hand. Meanwhile, the controversial singer Charles Oputa has reacted to calls for his arrest over his recent comments. The Maverick singer had in a tweet on Saturday charged the Nigerian youth to emulate French protesters destroying public properties over the shooting of a 17-year-old youth by police near Paris on Tuesday. Sharing a video of rioters burning down some buildings in France, Charlie Boy said it was what he expected Nigerian youth to do to reject the system that let them down. His tweet did not sit down well with some Nigerians who took to the comment section to call for his arrest for attempting to incite civil unrest. But reacting via his Twitter handle on Sunday, Charlie Boy mocked those calling for his arrest. He wrote, Not only me just they laugh as guys just the para on top of my post. People come they even call for my arrest. See monkeys. DSS can't arrest criminals but can arrest people who speak against criminals. You are a useless Nigerian. Because I charge the youths of Nigeria to take their destiny in their hands and bring down a criminal enterprise, some Momo persons come they form gangster on top of my post. Meanwhile, former presidential aide Reno Mokri has urged President Bola Tinubu to stop the compulsory retirement of military generals whenever junior officers emerge as service chefs. Omokri opined that the country suffers great loss after spending millions of dollars in training the officers and later relieving them of their duties. He described the practice as a complete waste of money and human resources. Nigeria spends tens of millions of dollars training military generals only to retire them when their juniors are appointed service chefs. That is just a complete waste of money and human resources. Why? He questioned. Speaking further, Omokri recalled that General Domkot Bali was senior to General Babangida, but he served under him. Meritoriously, I might add, Brigadier Babafemi Ogundipe served under Lieutenant Colonel Gowon, even more meritoriously. He argued that the practice was why the nation's military has been weak to combat rests. No wonder our military is so weakened to the extent that rest and bandits are flexing their muscles and taxing Nigerians while generally making life miserable for many of our citizens. Why not? When we keep purging our military of our most senior trained and learned officers, he added. In his request, Omokri emphasized that President Tinubu is the commander in chief of the armed forces for now and should consider using that office and its power to put an end to this practice for the overall health of our military. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. In other news, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu recognizes that Nigeria is being looked upon for leadership and he is prepared to step up to the challenge. Dele Halake, 
the special advisor to the president, special duties, communications and strategy, made this known to State House correspondents on Saturday following the visit of President Umaru Sisoko and Balo of Guinea-Bissau to President Tinubu at Isikoyi, Lagos residence. Niger News reports that this was made known in a statement by the State House Director of Information, Abiodun Oladun Joye. Alake told reporters that while the visit was of a private nature, President Mbalo took the opportunity to express his solidarity and willingness to cooperate with Nigeria under the leadership of President Tinubu. He also highlighted that the visit allowed Mbalo, who is currently the chairman of the Hekowas Authority, of heads of state and government to reinforce the fraternal relations between the two countries. President Mbalo commended the laudable policy initiatives of President Tinubu in the last one month and added that everyone in the international community have been commending the giant strides of the Nigerian leader. He came to pay solidarity and bond with a brother African head of state in the first instance, and in particular as a brother head of state in West Africa. This is a very commendable sign of things to come in the entire West African region in terms of the atmosphere being generated by Nigeria's giant steps in the last one month and the need for Nigeria to take its rightful place in the African affairs. Everybody is looking up to Nigeria, especially in Africa and the headquarters region, and President Tinubu is ready to take up the gauntlet. He added, on the entourage of the visiting Guinea-Bissau leader, we are special advisor, Karamo Kamara, Chief of Staff Khalifa Suarez, and Diplomatic Advisor Ambassador Alfredo Cabral and Image Operator Bonifacio Correa. Those who joined President Tinubu to receive the Guinea-Bissau President included Lagos State Governor Babaji Desan Wolu, Chief of Staff Femi Bajabi Amila, and Special Advisor Special Duties Communications and Strategy to the President. Mr. Dele Halake. President Mbalo was earlier received at the presidential wing of Motala Mohammed International Airport, Ikeja, by Governor Sanwolu. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.